It would be incorrect to say that Frank McCord is back in Los Angeles. In some ways, he never left. McCord is infamous among fans for steering the Dodgers into bankruptcy in 2011 before he was forced to sell the team by Major League Baseball. His family's foundation still controls the Los Angeles Marathon. A corporation that bears McCourt's name still owns the business offices at 1201 N Broadway, across the 110 freeway from Dodger Stadium, among other properties in his name. That building is home to an architecture firm that has already contributed to McCourt's latest project, a gondola that proposes to transport fans from Union Station to Dodger Stadium as early as 2028. The next step for the gondola to become a reality begins Thursday. It includes a virtual, open house, for public comments running through November 16, and a virtual public scoping meeting on October 22 from 6 to 8 p.m. The McCourt entity in charge of the project, Los Angeles Aerial Rapid Transit LA Art, requests public comments be submitted online at artist renderings of the gondola, including the two proposed routes through the neighborhood, can be found at Metro's public scoping meetings typically were held in person prior to the novel coronavirus pandemic. The open house is an important step toward determining key details, including the gondola's route, the total cost of the project, the projected fiscal benefit to the Dodgers and McCourt, and the cost of gondola fares. The environmental process will give us a much better sense of the cost of the overall system, said Cindy Starrett, a partner with Latham & Watkins, and the project manager for the Environmental Impact Review. We've proposed a number of community benefits as part of the plan. Getting that public feedback and having the final decisions from Metro, what all the mitigations and conditions will be for the environmental process, will help us determine the final cost. Starrett said the cost of the Environmental Impact Review IR, alone will exceed $1 million. LA Art is reimbursing Metro, the Los Angeles County Agency overseeing all transportation projects, for the final bill. The IR, as well as the final station and route selection for the gondola, is proposed for completion in 2021. According to the LA Art website, the aerial system will be able to transport up to five, 500 passengers per hour, with a ride lasting seven minutes in each direction. As for McCourt's involvement in the project, Starrett characterized the gondola's connection to the Dodgers as adjacent, not inherent, to his overall objective. Frank founded the gondola company with his son Drew McCourt because he thinks the gondolas are a really great opportunity for urban transportation, Starrett said. They're zero emissions, which is very important here in California. I think that's really his focus, is the gondola project. Quote.